up? It is Katie Ursa from Chic Influencer, and I am here tonight to talk to you for a couple minutes. My camera is a little wonky, so hold up. And I am here to talk to you guys for a couple minutes about something that we are focused on in the Chic community this month. So I know I might look a little bit rough. I actually have a funny story to tell you. But I was going to do this a little bit earlier and then my son Dom and I were just having this amazing day. So I didn't want to walk away from my son at all this afternoon. We were just having such a good time. And then tonight I was reading him the book I read him when he was first born. And the whole time I am reading this book, I am bawling my eyes out. And I'm even like gonna cry thinking about it. We just had the most wonderful day and he was just putting his arm around me as I'm reading this book and like a crazy woman bawling my eyes out as I'm telling him this story. But I knew I was gonna like collect it and put it together tonight to share with you guys just a couple of tips about what we're talking about in Chic community this month. So I know so many of you guys relate. I know that many of you guys are moms. Many of you guys are busy on the go. And so as entrepreneurs, you always wear these different hats and I do too. Um, I'm a mom as well uh, and just wearing a hat tonight and it was just a little bit uh, difficult to take that hat off and put on my professional hat this evening. But I really do want to talk to you about what we're focused on in the Chic community this month and that's actually email marketing. You know, email marketing is something that for a long time in my business, I didn't understand how truly important it was until just this past weekend, Megan, um, Melanie and I were looking back at the list of people we have who have really subscribed and the number of people who actually open our emails on a regular basis. And then I got to thinking about in my other business, how many people actually purchase products or are interested in learning more who don't necessarily always connect but they feel connected because they are part of that email list an email list is not just a nice thing to have as a business owner it is actually a must and if you're doing your business through instagram or you're doing it through facebook but you don't have a home base for people to go to when it comes to getting the information out there it's gonna be really complicated for you to continue to market, especially as social media really focuses more on storytelling. So I know I have a guard up all the time. If I feel like somebody is selling to me, I immediately say, nope, not my people. I don't wanna know anything more about it. However, when I subscribe, it is usually because there is something they have said that resonated in some way and I also understand they own a business. I just don't know if I am totally convinced that what they have to offer is going to fit for me. Think about it. Maybe you are subscribed to the Chic, the weekly Chic that Melanie and I write at Community and also tips and strategies to help you grow your business. We add value right there in the email, but it's also giving you the insider scoop as to what's going on in the business side of what we offer. So if you haven't checked out the stories, I'm just gonna recap a little bit about what we said earlier today about what are five tips that you can use to really grow your email list. So first of all, you need to have an email list. And in our Sheet community, we talked this week about the best places that you can actually set up your email subscriptions. And so there's tons of options from Kajabi to MailChimp to Aweber. We walked through the benefits, the pricing of all of those things, um, just so our members could kind of see what that was. But today, I really just wanna talk to you a little bit more about well, how to grow it. So I'm gonna give you those five tips, I'm gonna break them down, and they're in the stories too, if you wanna see them there. But number one, offer something free. When Melanie and I first decided to come out with Chic Influencer, the very first thing we did when we were getting ready to launch the business was get people into the emails. And so the very first thing we did, we launched a free resource. It was a webinar called Bridging the Gap. And in that webinar, we really walked them through where they are now and help them close the gap to where they wanna go. And then we also talked about what the Chic community was really gonna be all about. So we offered something free, we had a great PDF downloadable, and then everybody who subscribed to our email had access to that information. 
The other thing that we do is every week we give our people something free. We offer them the resources that we have put out for the week um, in our IG. We've put it in one clean place for people. We've given them tips. We've collected blog posts. We've shared testimonials. We are sharing and adding and adding and adding value so people can either connect to us or unsubscribe. Number two, host a live event. A live event is a great way for you to make eye contact with someone and really connect with them as not just a business owner, but as a human. So I know for Melanie and I, yes, we do a lot with webinars, but we're also starting to get out in the community a little bit more. We have a live event and I would love to have you there um, on April 27th, but we also hosted one not too long ago at the Walnut Girl that wasn't far from us. And so we really took that time to connect with our audiences and we got great feedback and it also became a sharing tool to grow our network of local people and get them added into our email list as well. And on top of that, people started to share what we were doing out in the community and they wanted to know more. So after we got out in the community, you bet that our social media game, our, our email list really grew after that as well. Number three, if you have a new product that's in the works or one that's coming out, people get really interested. Maybe you have a new skincare line or a new mascara, a new shade of lipstick, or a new workout program that's gonna be coming out. Start a couple months before and start adding value to those people. Um, start talking about the new product. What are the benefits of it? And then also talk to them about what they can do now before the product even launches. I also love to offer incentives for people to get the email out there to their friends, to their family, and that way the email list grows. As the email list is growing, I'm still putting the content out there. Number four, maybe offer a free community. So perhaps you are in a business where people want to see your services. They want to see more of what you have to offer. Set people up in a home base. So you can create an email subscription and maybe everybody has a home base right in there in a Facebook private group. But every week they're getting the updates of maybe what they didn't see in the group. Let's face it, sometimes social media isn't really dependable. And we can put the greatest content out there, but it isn't always guaranteed that our subscribers are actually gonna see it on social media. I know that when I put it in an email, it is just another way to get the information out there as well. And number five, this one is so simple, but a home page opt-in. If you blog, have a website, have it really easily accessible for people to actually subscribe to the Weekly Chic or whatever email you have. But every week, Melanie and I encourage people to invite people to subscribe to our emails. But then on top of that, we also make sure that if they find us via Google or even Pinterest, or maybe they just search our website via Instagram, we want to make sure that it's easily accessible for them to actually sign up so that they can get our emails as well. You know, an email system is not necessarily your front end. It isn't really your business um, storefront but it is all of the good stuff you have in the back of your store. So think about it that way. Everything you want your people to know that you're just like, I don't want to come off as salesy. You can start putting it into a really well-written, formatted, still adding value kind of email to get that information out to people. So I want to know, do you have an email list ready to go? Are you struggling with your emails? Or are you like, I have an email list, but I'm not using it. We want to make sure you guys know that the Chic community is where it's at this month as we talk about it. But even if you aren't in the community, girl, make sure that you are signed up for the Weekly Chic so we can give you all the goods we've got when it comes to email marketing. All right? Okay, guys, I hope you have a great night. If you're struggling, make sure you subscribe. This month is all about the email market. Bye, guys. Have a great night.